hi welcome back so in this video we are going to be starting to stage and commit files in our source tree repository so I actually finally made the commit it just took a little refresh for it to work and you can see now if I go over to my working copy my branches everything uh, you can see that everything's working so you can see how that node structure works but in this video we're gonna be making a few changes adding a couple files and uh, we're just gonna get used to the source tree environment with staging and committing alright let's get started so the first thing I want to do is talk about adding new files and committing them so what I'm gonna do is just go and make some new files so I'm um, oops didn't mean to open git bash so I'm gonna go here my git GUI project and first thing I want to do is create a new folder I'm just gonna call this SRC source and then in here I'm gonna create a few text files so I'm gonna say uh, script a hello something like that doesn't really matter what we put here uh, just go like that then what I'm gonna do is go back and you can see that something's happened here so we have two new files right here so it says here it's on the unstaged files box and what this is pretty much saying is that they haven't been tracked yet they haven't been added to the staging area so what we're gonna do now is go and work with them so that we can add them to the staging area now you can either go and right click on each one and from here you can go and add them you can remove them from the staging area remember this means unstaging them pretty much you can ignore them which pretty much adds them to a git ignore uh, resolve conflicts you can see uh, but this is this this is for conflicts so you know when there's some error going on uh, usually it's between the working copy and the index when you're checking things out uh, some conflicts happen but we're not gonna go through those now since we're, we're not really doing that so what we're gonna do is go and stage them now you can either stage each one like I said or you can just click this stage all button from there it adds them now you can see it has a plus icon and this doesn't mean plus added to the staging area this means that two new files have been added the hello and the script now from there of course you can't view anything in this because it's um we didn't put any text in it but from here you can actually go ahead and commit it so at the bottom here you can see that there's a little window here you have your username your email uh, the ones that you put in and from here you can type in whatever you want so i'm going to say added new files under source I'm just going to say that now i'm going to commit it so once that's done and we go back to our working copy you just click on that hello <laughs> yeah there we go so you can see here that uh, it says nothing to commit and that's because you know we we've committed everything there's no new changes now if we go over to branches you can see that there is a new commit it says add a new files under source and you can see here it says the name of the branch where it's located so that's also really handy so let's go back to our working copy right here so usually this is this when you see this screen it means you have a clean working directory you don't have any files you need to commit and you don't have anything you need to change which is a really good sign so let's go ahead and start working with editing some files, deleting them, working with them a little bit more. So I'm going to open up this hello file there and I'm going to type hello. Let's go ahead and save it. And why don't we just go ahead and delete this script file. Let's go back here and see some of the changes. So you can see here it has a minus, which means that it's been deleted. And this is a dot dot dot, which means it's been modified. And if we actually go and look at this, it says plus hello, which means we added the line hello. So we're going to stage all, and remember you, this is deleting the file, not removing it from the tracking area. And once that's done, we're just going to make a new commit. So remember, if you don't see this screen, you can just go and click on commit, and that's going to bring it up. Now we're just going to type remove script and modified hello file. There we go. So let's go ahead and commit that. There we go. So that's committed. Let's go ahead and check it out on our master branch. So you can see there that we added a new script and modified the file. So this is pretty much the essence of adding and working with files. But what if we want to, let's just say, untrack a file? What we can do is, uh, let's just say, you know, we want to uh, create our autogen file as we always do. Oh, whoops, autogen folder, I meant autogen. There we go. And in there, I'm going to add my log. 
as we did in the git basic section. So I'm just going to add some random text to this file, go back here, and now you can see we have unstaged files autogen slash log.txt. Now one way you could do this is by going and creating a git ignore, but for this time we can actually right click and just click on ignore. Now what this is going to do is ignore um, this, it's going to put it in a git ignore. So what's going to happen is you can either ex ignore the exact file names, ign ignore all files with the, this extension, which we're clearly not going to do because we have a lot of txt files. But what we're going to do is select this. So it ignores everything after or in this autogen folder. There we go. So ignore for this repository only. And now you can see it created our git ignore and it added it to it. So what we're going to do is stage all. And you can see that that autogen change has disappeared. And we're going to say added git ignore. There we go. So that's pretty much the essence of uh, you know, committing, adding, removing. We pretty much covered the entire Git basic section in one video. And remember, we're going through this quite fast because we've already learned all of the skills and techniques behind doing it. We're just doing it in a different software. So that's why I'm going through this quite quickly. So there we go. Now we have four commits all ready and set up. And in the future, we're going to be creating some more complex things, such as uh, new branches, merging them, uh, things like that. And then after that, we're going to be working on using it remotely. All right, let's move on.